Hello my dear Gemini, welcome to a new timeless reading, happy to have you here. Let's see what is the message for you today. Old friend, welcome back. New friend, don't forget to subscribe, join me here for future readings. Let's find out what is for you in this reading. Now, we have a beautiful card with giving birth. Something is preparing there. Something new coming in. Something is changing in your life. A new phase starting here. And we have the clouds. Mm -hmm. Let's see. With the clouds, you must clear your mind. You are maybe a little bit afraid of something. What you are afraid of? Hmm. This is talking about a brand new beginning, a new phase in your life, whatever it is. But for some reason, you are putting a shadow on this, maybe worrying about what's coming next how this new phase will impact your life is it going to be something good it will end up fast what is going on you are supposing a lot of things here confusion you make yourself confused and this might be because because of what happened in the past right maybe you had certain experiences and that is why now you're like expecting the worst or you know supposing things that might never happen so why would you do that to yourself you are about to enter into a new phase here so do not let influence of past experiences to put a shadow on this brand new beginning Queen of Swords, cut off, cut off anything negative, uh, Gemini, anything negative has to go, has to go, you, has, you must focus right now, what is in the present moment, there might be situations that you already went through two, three times, and that's why you might be right now, oh, again, it's going to happen this and that, but you never know, so why why supposing the worst? Cut off this mindset. Queen of Swords, she's very decisive. She doesn't let anyone, anything to cloud her mind. She knows exactly what she's doing. You should be more focused maybe on your work. Get yourself busy. Get yourself so busy that you don't have time to think about... Uh -huh. Six of Cups. Think about comparing people, situations. Get yourself busy. Get out of this past situation, energy. Leave the past in the past. That's why we call it the past, right? <laughs> to stay in the past. <laughs> it's a reason. Look at this. Focus on the future. This is a Two of Wands. And you know the Two of Wands is a card of planning, looking towards the future, how to get out of here, how to get out there, in the world. Hmm? So you see, get yourself busy with what's next. But stop, especially if you um, give yourself, <laughs> interesting, um, if you put yourself into, into this uh, continue struggle thinking of oh my god it will happen again for me always happens this way god knows what this will bring stop looking at your life and what's coming in as already something bad four of swords here give yourself a break look at this guy here relaxing put those thoughts on the side just do whatever is necessary to to calm yourself down you must have a clear mind here to make these plans for the future to plan your next step 
you know, you must have a clear mind. So Queen of Swords is saying, all right, put emotions on a side and let's see. I respect myself enough to don't let the past to influence my future. So I have something new here, an offer, an opportunity like me to have a better, a new beginning, right? Now, what I have to do? Okay, look at the past because you want to remind yourself the lessons of the experiences that you went through and then start planning. But don't stay stuck in the past and don't, th don't think the worst case scenario for yourself, okay? Now, Ace of Wands. Now, this is a great opportunity. This is a brand new beginning, doing something that you love or receiving something that you maybe been thinking of for a long, long time, you see? So this is where your focus should be towards something good. Now you have the Seven of Swords. So this is the card of strategy. This guy has a strategy here, right? Stealing some swords. So next day there is no war anymore. Eight of Pentacles. Make the effort. Make a better plan. Change something in the way you strategize when it comes to maybe a new workplace or a new relationship. There is something here that you need to give some good thinking. But it has to be different. Because you, you know, it's logic. You cannot do the same old thing and expect a different outcome. So this is not about, you know, this is not, is not a selfish, you are not selfish thinking of you making new strategies here. It is necessary, my dear Gemini, you know. And another thing, don't say to nobody. When, you know, some people, when, when they are up to something, they feel like they have to share with the world because, I don't know, it helps them, you know. Now I said to my friend that, I'm going to look for a job. Maybe it's time to look for a job. Next time they will ask me, did you find a job? Did you look for it? You know, so they kind of push themselves in this way, right? You put the word out there and then you kind of need to go with it because you already said to everyone that you're going to do this and that and you don't want to look bad. But um, you know what? Nobody needs to know what you're going to do next. Sometimes the best is most of the time is to keep it for yourself. Keep it for yourself. The next step, the plans that you have, it's, it's better this way. And I felt like to say, but I did not, and I saw the car now, not everyone is your friend. Some people will be happy when you're a your plans are not working out, you know. Some people not showing you, but they would be happy. So that's why it's better just keep things for yourself. Look at the King of Swords here. Hmm? Look at the King of Swords. Someone that puts the emotions on a side. Someone, a good thinker here. So yeah, you might have to look back and remind yourself what was that thing that you wanted to accomplish. How certain situations influenced that dream. Why you could not get it done. Why? Because of certain choices that you made in the past. So it's good to look at the past, but in a productive way. Some to, to get those elements that will help you to come up with better plans and to organize your life better right now. So here is no place for emotions. You have a couple here, the Queen and the King of Swords, which clearly is telling you, you must gain clarity in your mind. When you act from, um, you know, from your heart, when you let your emotions to, to lead you, you may step into the same steps, <laughs> you know, 
and you might attract something that you don't want, that you don't need. So be logical here. It's no place for emotions. Big decision here with the lovers. Big decision to get out of this place, to start new, to change your world, to change your habits, um, whatever it is that you you feel like you it's it's time for change. Go with it. Now is the time. You will be successful, and it might you might find it much easier than you thought. You may think that oh, it's hard. Oh, I cannot do this. Oh, I better not do that. Stop supposing things because you will be surprised that it might be much easier than you thought it is. And you have the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. So you can change something here in your life, whatever it is, you can change it for better. But you must decide with your mind, not with your heart, because you're, when we let our emotions to be in control, then that's not good. Your heart is telling you what you need. But then with your mind, my dear Gemini, make the decisions, make the plans. And it's enough if you know what has to be done. It's enough if you know where you are going, what you're going to do with all these swords, what's the next step. If you know it, it's good enough. So my dear soul, thank you so much for being here with me. This is what I can tell you for the moment. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. Everything counts for me and I appreciate all, um, all of your support. I wish you all the best and love and light.